Hey everyone! In this episode, we're gonna rig Mario. Rigging is crazy and interesting. How I learned to rig was by looking at game models. And what I have access to isn't necessarily how it looks to the game developers. But I wanted to copy it anyways and see if I learned anything. And the Mario Odyssey rig was definitely set up a little different than I'm used to, so it was quite fun to make. At an armature, single bone. Click the Object Data Properties tab, which now looks like a little green running man. Enable in front, under Viewport Display. In Edit Mode, scale this bone down. Extrude a bone up, uncheck Connected in the Bone Properties tab, move the bottom of this bone up and make a tiny little bone. Extrude the bottom down to about here, extrude the top up. Select all three of these and move them back on the Y axis. Extrude a couple more bones up. Disconnect this bone and move it up. Grab the top vertex and flip this bone down. Duplicate this bone and position it about here. Try to rotate it so that it's about 90 degrees off from pointing at his upper jaw. Or you could just extrude this bone out and have it look like this. Name your bones. Make sure this bone is a child of the head bones. Duplicate this bone and put it somewhere in here. Make its parent the previous bone. I want an upright bone to start with. So duplicate one of the spine bones and put it somewhere in here. It's supposed to be about 90 degrees off from where his upper teeth sit. For the most part, the only thing that matters is the position of the bone root. Just make sure everything pivots correctly. The bone's size and rotation is less important. Select the very bottom part of this bone and extrude out some leg bones. Delete this bone. Extrude out some foot bones. Name these bones. Remember to use .l or any of the other left side naming conventions so that we can auto-symmetrize the rig later. Extrude out some arm bones. Subdivide this bone. Delete this bone. Extrude up two bones from these points. Disconnect and move them back. Make a hand bone thingy. Name all these bones. Enabling snapping to volume can be useful for the fingers. Extrude out finger bones, delete these bones, then get everything positioned better. Subdivide the thumb. Scale these on the z-axis and get them in the center of his thumb. Center the finger bones as well, and then subdivide them. Try to line the bones up with where his joints would be. Duplicate the head bone, place it in his tongue, set the parent to the head bone. Extrude out several tongue bones. Name all these new bones as you go. Give him a hat bone, set its parent to head. Give him a nose bone, upper and lower lip bone, and then some more lip bones. Position them slightly inside of his face. Give him a lower and upper eyelid bone. Name all these bones as you go. Duplicate this bone and position it in his cheek. Create a couple more cheekbones and name them. Now go through and uncheck connected in every bone. Now I'm going to rotate my bones and make the rig match the model's resource rig. But you can skip this part if you want. The actual rig probably has a bunch of custom appearances and controller bones to help with the animating. But I don't have access to any of that, so I'm just matching what I can. He's looking pretty good. Name these bones however you want, if you haven't named them already. Set this cheekbone's parent to head. Set this one's parent to the first cheekbone. Set this one's parent to head. This one is upper lip, its parent is the head bone. The nose, parent head. Mouth side dot L, parent mouth root, or this bone. Lip lower dot L, parent jaw. Lip bottom center, parent jaw. I went through parenting the eyelid bones to the head bone. If you had eyelids, this is how you do it. But I didn't end up making eyelids, so it's cool. Duplicate one of these bones, position and scale it here. Duplicate and place them along the mustache. The first one is a child of the head bone. The second one is a child of the first, and the final one is a child of the second one. 
Give his eyebrows three bones as well. Name them something that makes sense dot L. Duplicate this bone, place it in here, and set its parent to jaw. That should be all of our bones. Set the cursor to origin with shift S. Make sure your armature object's origin is set to the 3D cursor. Open up the armature menu, select symmetrize. I unchecked deform in the base bones, bone properties, which would matter if we were automatically assigning weights, but we aren't going to, so it's fine either way. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave us a like or a comment. If you want to help us grow, share the video. Next time, we conclude Mario with his weight painting and some other stuff. Uh, love you, goodbye!